Does writing out a check each month to any of America's most hated companies make your blood boil? Comcast, Cox, Charter, Verizon, AT&T. If so, I'm going to show you why. Thanks to a stunning new breakthrough, you may never have to give these jerks another dime of your hard-earned money ever again. And more importantly, I'm going to explain why the death of the modern cable company could spell the beginning of your most profitable investment ever. I know it sounds crazy, but once you see just how revolutionary this breakthrough is, I think you'll agree that what's really crazy is the way things are now. After all, isn't it a bit crazy, at the speed technology is evolving, that your internet connection just randomly conks out for no good reason? Meaning you spend hours on the phone, push-buttoning your way through voice recognition robots that, if you ask me, really should recognize four-letter words by now? And isn't it even crazier to cancel plans or leave work early to rush home, sit for a four-hour window, and wait for the internet repairman who never shows up? If your answer is a loud yes, and you're fed up with your internet provider, then I'd like to ask you a simple favor. Grab the last bill they sent you, and have a nice long look at the huge number of ways they've figured out how to screw you, with fees, surcharges, overages, extras, and whatever new regulatory gobbledygook they made up that week. But instead of getting mad this time, go ahead and have a good laugh. This time, you'll be doing it at their expense, because you're about to discover the shocking innovation that's set to send your cable company to an early grave, a technological marvel set to shuttle the $251 billion internet empire into complete obsolescence, ending once and for all the terrible reign of America's most hated companies, freeing millions of Americans from what has, frankly, become a nightmarish customer experience and giving you direct exposure to what could be the tech market's next 5,349% windfall. That's right. From now on, you and everyone else with a crappy, overpriced internet connection can breathe a gigantic sigh of relief and get ready to cash checks rather than cut them. Because as Bloomberg reports, we are about to embark on the era of internet delivered from the heavens. And that's why companies like Virgin Group, Airbus, Qualcomm, and even Coca-Cola have poured nearly $2 billion into launching the specific technology I'm going to tell you about today. Even Fortune recently reported that following these companies' lead is a way for Main Street investors to win big right now. Because not only could this new breakthrough deliver faster, cheaper, reliable internet directly to your home, it's also going to give you a perfectly solid connection in your car driving through the mountains, on your boat out at sea, at your cabin in the deep woods. It will connect emergency management workers in the aftermath of earthquakes, missionaries on remote Pacific islands, and oil workers on deep sea rigs. In short, it will be fast, it will be uninterrupted, and it will be everywhere. Imagine it, a new era of modern internet, one that I estimate will cost you no more than seven measly bucks a month. Connecting the four billion people on planet Earth right now who have no way of accessing high-speed internet, including 78 million Americans, the way I look at it, we're soon going to flip a virtual switch and connect the entire planet in the blink of an eye. This breakthrough could save the typical American tens of thousands of dollars over time. For some, it will save much more, like Carson McDonald, a web developer in Sun Prairie, Wisconsin. Charter wants him to cough up $117,000 just to run cable internet to his home outside city limits. But when the breakthrough I'm talking about rolls out, Carson can thumb his nose at Charter and get back to making money instead of forking it over to them. Same for Nick Schumann. He's a family farmer in Soresco, Nebraska, who needs a reliable internet connection to bring his growing operation into the modern age. But he can't seem to wrap his head around the $383,500 Windstream Communications is demanding to run high-speed internet to his property, especially when he and his family live just a quarter mile away from an existing line. The technology I'm about to show you will allow Nick to grow his farming business and keep that nearly 400 grand in his pocket where it belongs. Customers now using internet from the heavens have called it a game changer, clocking in at 12 times faster yet 10 times cheaper than what they were forced to use before. Here's the best part. Until now, the precursor to this extraordinary technology has only been rolled out to 15 countries around the world, but soon it could replace dial-up, cable, DSL, and even fiber in every city and town in America. 
making the lives of virtually every American more affordable and far less stressful. At the same time, this technological quantum leap could wipe out the entire crop of hulking, hated internet providers with one blow and capture the entire $251 billion internet market now up for grabs. And for those who position themselves before February 7th. This could create a flood of new tech millionaires, all popping champagne at the funeral of the corporate internet. And that's not an overblown profit prediction. It's a nearly foregone conclusion. You see, historically, every time the internet has taken a massive step forward, virtually untold wealth is created. After AOL introduced internet via dial-up connection, their stock soared 70,636%. Then, when Earthlink helped usher in the age of DSL, their stock shot up 6,638%. As cable internet came in to replace DSL in many parts of the country, investors in Comcast were rewarded with an eye-popping 36,989% gains. Stunning, no doubt, but those gains are nothing compared to the potential at hand. Here's the situation. Because of previous technological limitations I'll explain in a moment, along with a very prohibitive price tag, preliminary rollouts of this technology's precursor have been limited to remote locations where running undersea or fiber cables wasn't at all feasible. That means, right now, only about one half of 1% of the world has access to technology like it. Americans have unfortunately been left out in the cold, forced to suck up whatever jacked up rates, horrible customer service, and spotty internet their regional monopoly decides to throw at them. That means at this moment, over $250 billion is sitting on the table just waiting for the next generation of internet technology to come along and scoop it up. And now, that time has come. A stunning breakthrough in something called LEO transmission is about to snap up most, if not all, of that hugely profitable market and make technological history. And at the center of it all sits a tiny, privately held company that holds the exclusive legal rights to use their technology to connect every human on the planet with the virtual flip of the switch. Not only will this company change the whole world's perception of what an internet provider is, it is also poised to make investors very, very rich. Once they launch their breakthrough LEO transmission project, they are poised to tap into an additional $35 billion of profit every single year just in the U.S. alone. When you look at the global market, that number balloons to about $251 billion in potential profit. Of course, no investment is guaranteed, but I'm about to show you precisely why I believe this tiny company is poised to become the go-to internet provider around the globe. So exactly how much money could you make here? Well, my research indicates you should have a shot at making an absolute fortune from this opportunity. I'll also show you three specific reasons why investors could reap double, triple, even quadruple returns beyond my conservative estimate. That is, if you follow the one simple strategy I'll outline today. But before we get to that, let me ask you this. Why the hell are you paying your internet company so much, and how do they keep getting away with it? Well, for starters, you're paying top dollar for internet that's so slow that it doesn't even rank in the top 10 worldwide. Yep. Unless you're one of the .003% of Americans living in the great state of Delaware, average internet speeds in the U.S. don't even come near the minimum requirement for broadband. Compare that to remote Iceland. Its population is so sparse the phone book lists residents by first name. Yet it ranks eight spots higher than the U.S. for peak internet speeds. Even Venezuela, where eight out of ten people don't have enough money for food, delivers mobile internet twice as fast as the U.S., which means the state of Internet service in our great nation is worse than in third world countries. So does that mean we're paying roughly in line with what we're getting? Hell no, it doesn't. Companies like Comcast are gleefully raising the cost of their services at four times the rate of inflation. In fact, the average American is now paying $132 a month for their little Internet and cable bundles of joy while South Koreans, who have the best service in the world, pay just $20 a month for broadband that's five times faster than the average Americans. I gotta tell you, it's a shameful business and it sickens me. But the Time Warner, Verizon, Comcast oligarchy has gotten away with it so far because they found a way to control everything, including manipulating the most important part of the modern internet. Here's what I mean. You're looking at a pretty dense, typical American neighborhood in suburban Maryland. There's no fiber internet here. People who live around here, like Jonathan Turner and his wife Kathy right here, have one option, Comcast Cable. Now, Comcast advertises pretty fast speeds. 
But do neighbors actually get those speeds? Not likely. Look at those cables overhead. That's copper wire. It was invented by Alexander Graham Bell over 100 years ago. It was meant to carry voices, not internet and streaming video. So even if Comcast shoots its blazing fast internet to this neighborhood through fiber optic cables, the minute Jonathan and Kathy's Netflix show hits these copper wires, it's got to slam on the brakes. Because this 100-year-old technology just can't handle that speed. Now, this problem could be solved if companies just stopped running the internet through these old wires and dug trenches for fiber optic cable to each of these homes. But that's easier said than done. There are gas lines, water mains, sewer pipes, and electrical cables everywhere underground. It's one big mess of spaghetti, which makes running fiber optics to these homes very expensive. A Goldman Sachs study found running fiber to the rest of Americans without it would cost, get this, $140 billion. So the internet companies often just don't do it. And all these folks paying for high-speed internet that just doesn't cut it are going to keep getting screwed. Why? Because the internet companies know damn well they're not going anywhere. One in three Americans have one choice for broadband service. So it's either pay out the nose for bad service or pay nothing for no service. Here's how Gizmodo sums it up. These massive telecom companies create a bottleneck in the last mile of service by refusing to upgrade critical infrastructure. And they can charge exorbitant prices for their subpar service while they're at it. So your internet is and slow and expensive. But what if we could just eliminate the need for any kind of cable at all? What if your internet service could be delivered straight to your home through the air with nothing in the way to slow it down? And most importantly, what if we could eliminate the greedy internet company's role in getting that internet to you? Incredibly, we can, and we are, thanks to the greatest technological innovation since the computer. I'm talking about a brand new revolution in LEO transmission, something those in the know like to call Halo-Fi. It's a constellation of highly advanced micro routers in low Earth orbit that will cover every square inch of the planet with uninterrupted high-speed internet from space. And once the Halo-Fi switch is flipped on, the results will be nothing short of extraordinary. That's because a technological leap of this magnitude has never been possible until now. There are several reasons why. First, the micro routers themselves. Instead of orbiting at 22,000 miles above the Earth's surface, these routers are microsatellites positioned in low Earth orbit, which is just 750 miles away. That's one reason Halo-Fi will be so much faster. It's 30 times closer to Earth. The micro routers themselves are also a marvel of engineering. The Wall Street Journal reports they are designing a new generation of satellites hundreds of times more capable than today's most advanced versions. And they're tiny. Each one is about the size of a desk. But don't let their size fool you. They are unbelievably powerful. Each satellite sends 10 beams of internet down to Earth. Each beam covers 400 miles, meaning it takes just three Halo 5 micro routers to cover an area the size of India. And to blanket the entire Earth in high-speed internet? As this company is about to prove, it could take as few as 648 micro routers. Then, once the switch is flipped on, receiving internet in your home is simple. No spotty modems, no outdated copper, no fiber. You don't even need to buy an antenna. You simply need to be near a school, public building, or municipal building that has a receiver on its roof and your phones and computers will automatically log on. Now, if you prefer, you can buy your own receiver for a one-time payment of about $200. You can see it right here. It's no bigger than the size of a tire. It even runs on its own small solar panels. You can also purchase a mobile receiver for any vehicle that can pick up high-speed Halo-Fi signals anywhere you travel. And here's where it gets even more incredible. Even though it only takes 648 satellites to cover the surface of the Earth with Halo-Fi, this tiny company isn't stopping there. Demand is so high, they are looking at adding an additional 2,000 micro-router satellites to their constellation. 2,648 micro-satellites have the power to blanket the Earth more than four times over with non-stop internet access for every single human being. Bottom line, as populations and internet connections explode, every man, woman, child, vehicle, ship, and business on Earth would be covered. Like I said at the beginning, for you, this means no more dealing with your internet company's infuriating customer service reps, never again waiting on their unreliable repairman, saying goodbye to going over their 
arbitrary data cap and never again paying them another dime. Halo Fi truly is internet delivered from the heavens. And here's the kicker. The price tag to launch this game-changing constellation of microsatellites and flip the on switch is shockingly low. Remember that figure Goldman Sachs came up with to run fiber optic internet to the rest of the US? $140 billion? Not a small figure by any stretch. So you might expect that bringing Halo Fi to 100% of the globe would be even more expensive. I mean, it's such a vast improvement, a higher price, even as high as $300 billion, would be justified. But it's not more expensive, not by a long shot. In fact, bringing Halo Fi to everyone on Earth will cost 98% less than laying fiber across just the United States alone. That's right. Launching this company's entire constellation of micro routers, including a network of receivers on Earth you can automatically log on to, is expected to cost just $3.5 billion. So not only are we talking about the most reliable internet the world has ever seen, we're also talking about possibly the least expensive way ever to launch it, which, by my cost analysis, will then translate into a monthly charge of no more than $7 a month for users just like you. Which means we're really talking about a fundamental shift in the history of the internet itself. And my intelligence points to February 7th as the day this private Halo Fi's company's plans to go public are revealed to the world. This is our best estimate based on the company's previous public announcements. And that single announcement is set to send this tiny firm and their breakthrough technology from relative obscurity to the 7 o'clock news. Setting investors up for a potential win of 5,349%. But here's the catch. If you want to claim those gains for yourself, you have to take action before February 7th. Because I've developed a one-two profit punch strategy to capitalize on this world-changing technology before and after it makes its way onto the public markets. It's a simple strategy, one that could make you a fortune as the story heats up. And even if we're wrong about this date, I still believe the earlier you act, the better, which is why we're recommending you get in by February 7th. Remember, we watched AOL soar 70,636%. Earthlink skyrocketed 6,690%, and Comcast catapulted 36,989%. And over time, what we're about to witness could match or exceed those very exceptional gains. It is rare for me to feel so confident about an opportunity this huge. Yet here's what makes me even more confident. The International Telecommunications Union has ruled this tiny company has exclusive global rights to the microsatellite band of spectrum required to carry HaloFi from space to Earth. Think about that. Imagine if AOL had been able to secure worldwide exclusive rights to all dial-up internet access. Investors would have likely seen much bigger gains. And that's exactly what the ITU just made possible right here. Because in 2012, the CEO of this company successfully secured the global rights to operate his Halo 5 technology exclusively within the microsatellite band of space. Under the first come, first serve ITU rules that govern the deal, if this company can get their microsatellites operating any time before the end of 2019, they have the sole rights to operate inside this band. And there is virtually nothing that regulators can do to force them to share it with anyone else who might want to launch competing microsatellites on a global level. One company backer, Richard Branson, put it this way. This company's CEO has the rights, and there isn't space for another network. Imagine how huge exclusive access to the microsatellite band could be for this company. And with production of their microsatellites ramping up to record-breaking levels within weeks, there's little doubt they will have a fully operational constellation by 2019. And I'm not the only one who shares this level of absolute confidence. I'll also show you who else is backing this company's bid to be the only HaloFi company in the world, including a man known as the Bill Gates of Japan. See, not only are these backers putting billions of dollars behind the idea of internet for everyone all the time, they're betting their money and their future returns on the man behind the technology making it happen. His name is Greg, and he's touted as spearheading the biggest thing that has ever been done in the satellite industry. It takes a Greg to do something like this. David Bettinger, former CTO at iDirect Satellite. Most of the industry has agreed that Greg is the man to watch out for. Hitherto unknown to those outside the satellite industry, he has been there, done that. Spaceboard, the professional network of the space industry. By done that, he means stepped into a tech industry, which invented a cheaper, superior product, done that competitors out of business, stepped into a tech industry, invented a cheaper, superior product, put competitors out of business in his legal and eye, and walked away many millions of dollars richer, multiple times. Anyone who knows.
knows him knows, when Greg sets out to bust up a monopoly, greedy old-timers start shaking in their boots. He did it in the computer industry in the 1990s. That's when he set his mind to building a better, cheaper heat regulator for personal computers. After shutting himself off in a dark workspace for five years, he emerged with a premium heat regulator that cost 80% less than what competitors were charging for an inferior product. He went on to snap up major contracts with Dell and Hewlett Packard, among other big name computer manufacturers. He then sold that company for $100 million and moved on to his next project, a telecom company that would bring fast, reliable mobile and internet service to every citizen of Rwanda. He traveled there regularly, dug ditches to lay hundreds of miles of fiber optic cable, and completed that nation's first 3G network. It was faster and cheaper than government-backed Rwandatel. Within a year, it had stolen most of their subscribers as well. In 2005, he sold the company for $20 million and began to lay plans for delivering better, faster, cheaper internet to everyone on the planet. Since Greg's plans, and of course the exclusive rights granted by the ITU, have become public knowledge, would-be competitors seem to be falling off. SpaceX, Elon Musk's space exploration company, issued a statement on rumors they would build a competing microsatellite constellation saying, I would say that this is actually very speculative at this point. Gwyn Shotwell, SpaceX president. Now, I can never claim to know what has developed in the back rooms of SpaceX since this statement, but as far as I know, they have yet to develop even a prototype that could compete with HaloFi. Then in February, Google drastically scaled back its Project Loon worldwide internet project, and Mark Zuckerberg's plans to build a free internet have been rejected by users around the world as just a marketing ploy to get more Facebook users. So what I'm presenting you with today is an opportunity to collect double profits off the only company with exclusive rights to deliver HaloFi to everyone. Before I reveal all the details, you'll need to get in before February 7th for potential pre and post IPO profits. Allow me a brief 30 second introduction. My name is Ray Blanco and finding the world's most lucrative tech investments isn't just my passion, it's my job here at Agora Financial. That's why any day of the week you can find me visiting the headquarters of the world's most revered and in the case of HaloFi, most under the radar technology companies. That's also why Agora tapped me to come on board as their chief technology analyst. I've been at the vanguard of some of the most explosive tech breakthroughs in recent history. Helping usher readers to paydays of 195%, 239 percent plus multiple 300% plus paydays on cutting edge biotech plays. These outsized wins made a lot of my readers a lot of money, no doubt. But none of them are as compelling as what I'm sharing with you today because based on my track record of spotting and profiting off of the biggest tech events of the past decade, believe me when I say, money-making opportunities as exciting as HaloFi come around only once. So I can tell you without hesitation, HaloFi offers the biggest upside potential I can see across the entire market for the next decade at least. Worldwide HaloFi is the biggest breakthrough since the advent of the computer. So why would you miss a shot at getting your share of the resulting multi-billion dollar profit potential? I know one person who saw this opportunity and wouldn't let it pass him up. And you should know about him too. He's known as the Bill Gates of Japan. He's the richest man in that country. CNBC named him the Warren E. Buffett of technology investing. He simply calls himself a crazy guy who bets on the future. To those close to him, he's just Masa. Masa has used his Midas touch to help turn multiple technology startups into massive winners, like Yahoo. Masa made a $4.8 million early investment in Yahoo. Any investors who followed his lead in 1996 could have a fortune alongside him. In 2008, a tech startup, Buddy Media, was valued at just $964,469. But Masa saw huge potential and led a funding round that brought $6.5 million into the company. 48 months later, the company was valued at $689 million, a 714-fold gain. Then Masa invested $43 million into Fitbit when it was valued at just $300 million. In June of 2015, its valuation rose to a whopping $8 billion, a 26-fold gain in under 24 months. In other words, when an investment gets Masa's seal of approval, it usually means you're looking at a company on the verge of an explosive profit run. The Hustle, a Silicon Valley newsletter, puts it this way. Masa can make or break you, meaning the industry looks to Masa's opinion and the flow of his money as a bellwether for the next big tech trend. Like when his $20 million investment in Alibaba grew to $90 billion, 
or 4,500 times his money. And when his investment in WeWork, the co-sharing office space, helped bump the company's valuation from $2 billion to about $18 billion, a ninefold spike. That's the same kind of potential Masa sees in this tiny Halo-Fi company, which is why he just invested $1.2 billion in them. He says, why would you need cable anymore? We are becoming the major shareholder of a company bringing another telecommunications revolution. This company is moving faster than anyone else in advance of everyone else, not just in the U.S., but in all nations of the world. And by all nations of the world, he sees a potential customer base of nearly 7 billion people. Given that, let's dive into exactly how high this company could go. Now, the most obvious comparison is America Online. They were the first to deliver dial-up internet to the masses, and investors reaped the rewards. Thing is, as you remember, their first-generation product was lacking in quite a few ways. It was slow, unreliable, and customers used to get constant busy signals when they tried to log on. Despite those setbacks, about half of all Americans were using AOL by 1997, and its share price soared 70,626%. Now, the tiny company I'm talking about today has a far superior product. It's over 200 times faster. It is planned to roll out to 26 times more people than AOL reached in its prime, and it's anticipated to cost up to 10 times less than some folks are paying for their spotty, unreliable internet today. This winning combination is about to create some serious wealth. According to my calculations, this company currently brings in about $1.2 billion per year. And once they begin launching their Halo 5 microsatellites, they are setting themselves up to tap into an additional $251 billion of profit every single year. However, that's still a limited view of what this company is capable of. That $251 billion market only considers the 40% of people on Earth who currently have broadband internet. We know there are about 4 billion people, including 78 million Americans, who right now can't get it even though they're desperate for it. Halo 5 will be the first internet service that will grant the gift of high-speed, uninterrupted internet to everyone on Earth, meaning the potential market size this company is creating is more than $627 billion. Yet that's still not the upper limit they're pushing here. This company is also targeting on-site microsatellite connectivity for the emergency management industry, a $101 billion market. In other words, firefighters, paramedics, and our Coast Guard could soon have the high-speed connection they need no matter which remote corner of the world they're sent to. They also plan to be the exclusive high-speed internet provider for commercial airlines, an industry rolling out 30,000 new planes with upgraded internet connections. That means passengers are about to go from barely able to load web pages to streaming Netflix without a hitch on every flight. That right there is an additional $3 billion in potential sales a year. They also aim to be the sole internet provider to remote and deep water oil and gas operations, an easy shot at another $1 billion annually. Altogether, this gives our tiny Halo Fi company a total addressable market of $631 billion. So let's determine a likely share price. To do that, let's walk a very conservative line here and say the company only captures 10% of the total market. It's highly unlikely they'd ever manage to stay that small, but caution never hurts when setting a price target. We'll also use the conservative industry standard, the price to sales ratio valuation method. Using the cable internet industry average price to sales ratio of 2.08, we plug that potential $63 billion market, again, that's just 10% of the total potential market, over its current estimated revenue of $1.2 billion, that gives us a projected post-IPO market cap of $131 billion. That's a 51-fold gain, 5,149% from a single investment. Now, is this a blue sky prediction? Yes. No gain this massive is ever guaranteed. However, if you line it up next to the gains that other major advances in internet have delivered, along with the gains helped along by Moss's Midas Touch, the likelihood that post-IPO HaloFi can turn a tiny investment into a handsome payday now seems much more than possible. If all goes as my analysis predicts, those who put their money behind HaloFi will become the tech world's newest group of self-made millionaires, going on to live a free and easy life wherever they please. However, if you intend to be among them, you need to act immediately. Remember, I told you this was a one-two punch deal. That means I don't want you to wait until this company's IPO to start making money. I want you to have a shot at outsized profits as of today. That's why, if you follow my strategy, you'll also be aligning your money right alongside Masa as part of his $1.2 billion pre-IPO investment in this Halo Fi company. 
allowing you a chance to collect your share of this company's potentially massive pre-IPO profits. This is a huge opportunity to potentially make a nice profit before the year is out. Recently, Moss's investment in another pre-IPO company took it from $100 million to $1 billion in the blink of an eye. Virtually overnight, this man and every other investor alongside him made 10 times his investment. Now, there's another massive opportunity. Because according to my research, within weeks, this tiny HaloFi company is about to take the first public step towards an IPO by filing an S-1 form with the SEC. Soon, I predict you'll see trade magazines and mainstream outlets reporting, HaloFi is going primetime this February 7th. Now, how could I possibly be so confident about this? Most companies keep their plans to IPO under lock and key just in case anything should delay them. Yet every lifelong trader and analyst knows there are always undeniable signs a planned IPO is underway. You just have to know what to look for. Which is what one member of my research team did when he went straight to this company's headquarters in Arlington, Virginia to get the scoop. Now, I didn't expect the CEO to waltz my guy into the corner office for martinis and spill the beans on the company's plans. And I knew the receptionist wasn't about to engage him in a round of blink twice if the answer is yes game. But I did figure he'd find a way to chat up a few key people that might send him in the right direction. And just so you know exactly what I sent him over there to dig up, here are a few signs that indicate to the trained observer when a company is looking to go public. Number one, all companies that trade on U.S. stock exchanges have to follow the Sarbanes-Oxley Act, known as SOX, SOX. In 2002, SOX was enacted to protect stock market investors from corporate fraud. It requires public companies to make highly detailed financial disclosures and follow strict accounting regulations. So, usually a company has to reinvent their policies and procedures to comply with SOX on the eve of moving towards an IPO. The second thing most every pre-IPO company does is take any big write-offs they are allowed all at once. The amount they can take must adhere to GAAP or IFRS accounting practices. It's a huge undertaking to get this done, but it makes for sexier income statements when it's time to attract new investors during the IPO. So it was more than exciting when my research analyst let me know this tiny HaloFi company is urgently looking to expand their accounting team by bringing on a controller, specifically with thorough knowledge experience working with US GAAP knowledge of IFRS is a plus, and experience with Sarbanes-Oxley internal control compliance and required documentation preferred. Let's remember that compliance with Sarbanes-Oxley is required only for public companies. And let's remember it's a lot more work, more money paid out, and a lot more regulation, things all companies hate. So why would a private company comply with such an onerous law if they didn't have to? The one reason that crosses any sane person's mind is they're going to have to comply pretty dang soon when they file to go public. Also, companies that have taken care of their SOX compliance before their IPO tend to get a nice premium tacked onto their shares. So in the end, that would make the expense of a SOX savvy employee worth every last dollar they command. So what else did we find out in my analyst's little visit to company headquarters? Well, I quickly discovered there's a new kid on the block around here and let me just say, he's kind of a big deal. Before I tell you about him, I'll tell you why it matters that he's here. To attract investors, a company on the verge of IPO needs to have officers and managers with one thing, a track record of making companies profitable. So when they start aggressively loading their upper echelons with these turnaround kings, it's a strong sign they're stacking the deck with aces before an IPO. And that's what our HaloFi company just did when the legendary CEO of a prominent telecommunications company walked away from his cushy job to join the team here. He even publicly stated what everyone else was thinking. For me to leave at this moment, it would have to be something which I strongly believe in for the future, Halo 5's new turnaround king. His name is Sam, and when he was CEO of that telecom company, he took them from a financial black hole drowning in 13 million of unpayable debts to one of the most cash-rich telecom operators in the industry, growing revenues at an 11% clip annually in his first three years. This turnaround has been studied and written about in multiple media outlets. Now, the king of the turnaround is firmly planted inside this tiny satellite company, and the deck stacking has begun. And like any smart yet virtually unknown company on the verge of going public, our HaloFi company also has a few media-worthy events and announcements to coincide with their potential IPO filing. Number one, they are debuting the world's first fully automated, 
high-volume satellite assembly plant in Florida, and it will crush the record for satellite production volume. Here's how truly unprecedented this is. This company's state-of-the-art Halo 5 factory will begin manufacturing 15 microsatellites every week. No one before in history has had the ability to make even a single satellite in a day. And they will build them at just a fraction of the cost, a half million dollars apiece. Previously, satellites cost hundreds of millions of dollars to make. Number two, they've signed contracts with some of the world's most innovative visionaries. This tiny company just inked a contract with Jeff Bezos' rocket company, Blue Origin, to launch 400 of its satellites. The company also awarded 39 launches to Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic. Some of these launches will build out the original microsatellite constellation, and later launches will replenish the company's satellite fleet when old satellites stop working. Number three, these partnerships will give this tiny company the powerful ability to launch a satellite on just two hours' notice. Until now, it took a full year of prep to launch a satellite into space. But now, this company will have the never-before-seen ability to launch microsatellites at the drop of a hat, giving them the power to provide unbroken, outage-free internet service that blankets the entire world day and night with no one left out. Look, there is virtually nothing standing in this company's way right now. That's why Virgin Galactic, Airbus, Qualcomm, and even Coca-Cola are 100% behind this company and the overwhelming likelihood it will make technological history, as well as make early investors very, very rich. I'm going to show you how to get all the information you need to position yourself for a potential 5,349% gain with my 1-2 profit punch before February 7th. Before I do that, I want to first reveal how I'm able to find companies like this, helping you to make sure your money is in exactly the right place at exactly the right time. I've spent the last 23 years immersed in the field of technology trend investing. That means getting my hands on virtually every new device that hits the market, being the first to identify breakthrough business models that forever change the way we consume technology, and evaluating behind-the-scenes business deals that will move billions of tech dollars around. And now, as a thought leader in the sector that mints more millionaires than any other, I've developed a powerful three-phase formula that accurately forecasts whether a new technology will be a breakout winner or a hype-fueled failure. I now use this formula, combined with my experience, contacts, and insider intelligence, to deliver big wins for anyone who follows my recommendation. For example, my readers recently received an alert to buy NVIDIA. NVIDIA's chips are the driving force behind two combined $112 billion megatrends, virtual reality and machine learning. For me, this trade is a no-brainer. Readers were encouraged to buy NVIDIA on February 6, 2015 at $20 a share. 24 months later, the stock hit $119 a share. Today, those of my readers still in it are up 724% and continuing to ride this unstoppable tech trend even higher. Not bad. Another winner is Ionis Pharmaceuticals. Ionis had developed a breakthrough that treated HOFH, a rare genetic disease that causes deadly heart attacks in young people. Given the severity of this disease and the genius of the anti-sense technology behind the cure, this is another no-brainer. Readers who followed this recommendation bought in at $8.43 per share. The FDA approved the breakthrough treatment, and a sell alert was issued when the stock hit an explosive $39.14, allowing readers the opportunity to capture an outsized 364% gain. I could go on and on. In fact, on April 2, 2013, my readers were introduced to 3D systems. 3D was capitalizing on what I always suspected would be a strong yet short-term trend in 3D printing, opening up a shot to capitalize on its rise and get out with a big win. And boy, that was exactly what happened. Readers who jumped into 3D feet first at roughly 30 bucks a share were alerted to get out while the trend was still hot at $91.10 per share. A nice triple shot for anyone following that recommendation. As you might guess, members of our research services were beside themselves with excitement at the returns we're delivering across the board. Like Tom Phillips who wrote, I made about $35,000 in 10 days. And Marianne Herman who sent me an email saying, I bought 500 shares of Company Y at $4.55 and sold at $15.88, tripling my stake. I've helped Greg Swanson double his money more than once, so he wrote in to say, Technology Profits Confidential is the bedrock of my portfolio, with winners of 152% and 122%. As you can see, people who use my research have the opportunity to make a lot of money, and to be absolutely clear, that doesn't happen by luck. To consistently deliver these kinds of gains, I've developed a proprietary three-part analysis that demonstrates how to spot the biggest, most lucrative tech trends with shocking accuracy, 
And here's how it works. Tech trend test number one, the market must be hungry. In order for a new technological breakthrough to meet my criteria for investment, it must have a market that is pulsing with pent up demand. In other words, the technology has to hit a hungry market and sell immediately. Not to a boutique market, but to the masses. That's why I pose the following rigorous questions every time before I decide whether or not an investment is a go. One, does this new breakthrough help people or change lives for the better? Two, do consumers want and need this new product? And three, will the FCC and FTC back any regulations necessary to launch it? Four, will it dominate its market? And five, will new revenues significantly boost the company's share price? A no to any of these questions and even the most hyped new technology is off the table. Yes, it feels good to get behind a product that everyone's talking about, but it's far more important to get behind something that has the real potential to make you money. And my recommendation today gives you exposure to a company that has that in spades. One, it's going to save people millions of dollars collectively and change billions of lives for the better, likely yours included. Two, consumers are loudly demanding a better alternative to their crappy, overpriced internet service. Three, this company is the only one on the right side of regulating bodies when it comes to launching its satellite globally. Four, meaning it will, without question, have a shot at 100% market domination. And five, that new market share could boost its stock price. Again, I can't guarantee those gains. Nobody can. But I can tell you that this company has all the market demand elements of a breakthrough winner. Now, once I determine that the technology is ready to be absorbed en masse around the world, I move on to the second test in my analysis. Tech trend test number two. The technology is backed by loads of capital. Demand is one thing, but in order to get a new technology produced, marketed, and sold around the world, a company needs a lot of capital, both before and after an IPO. Pre-IPO, that capital comes from VCs and big investors. A strong list of early backers demonstrates two things. One, the company has easy access to significant funding, and two, smart, successful VCs and large corporations see a chance to cash in big. I love finding a company that is flooded with cash from outside investors. This gives them the freedom to make big moves precisely when they need to. That's why the backers list on our HaloFi company is so impressive. Masa, Virgin Atlantic, Airbus, Qualcomm, Coca-Cola. Together, they've poured billions into getting this breakthrough microsatellite technology off the ground and into space. 1.2 billion of that came from Masa, and we've already seen that some of his savvy investments have returned 2,566%, 7,763%, and 71,338%, sometimes in less than 24 months. So after I've established that a company's funding is secure and substantial, I move on to the third test. Tech trend test number three. The timing is impeccable. This is where a lot of investors run into problems. They read a news story about a new technology breakthrough and move to get in right away. Here's the thing. If the tech is still in the initial stages of development, it could be years before the stock lifts. Plus, in the very early stages, it's impossible to know if the technology actually works as it should. On the other hand, if you sit out too long, you'll miss out on the really big gains. The key is to get in after the technology has been proven and tested, but before a mad rush of investors sends the stock into the stratosphere. Where's the impeccable point of entry on HaloFi? It's the window between today and February 7th. That's likely the only way you can ride the same pre-IPO profit wave Masa is on before the majority of investors even realize the age of HaloFi is upon us. Plus, you'll be primed to jump directly into HaloFi and ride its post-IPO surge as soon as it goes public, for what I predict will be a combined windfall of 5,349%. Now, I always want to remind my readers nothing is certain. There is always risk in the stock market. Sometimes I'm wrong on my projections about a company's IPO date. That's simply the nature of the investment world. One thing that is absolutely certain right now, however, is my triple test tech analysis is pointing to one conclusion. HaloFi is ready for liftoff. HaloFi is about to topple the most hated internet oligarchies and deliver a brand new form of fast, affordable, high-speed internet to everyone on the planet. It will change the entire global economic structure as we know it and for the better. Closer to home, it will make finicky modems, service outages, hidden fees, and atrocious customer service from your internet company history. Listen, close to a quarter of Americans are still waiting for access to high-speed internet. 
That's 78 million people. Worldwide, that number jumps to 4.2 billion. Halo Fi opens up this entire market and gives them, with the virtual flip of a switch, access to what they so desperately want. As I run this company through my rigorous triple test analysis, it just keeps looking better and better. That's why, given the looming February 7th deadline, I am recommending it today with an urgent buy rating. Remember, those who invested right before AOL's launch had the chance to collect 70,636% gains. And those who jumped into Comcast were rewarded with a shot at a 36,989% win. Yet those technologies still left billions of people out of their total market. Our Halo Fi company offers a far superior product, and it's designed to include all 7 billion people on this planet within its service area. And remember, to blanket the planet in Halo Fi costs a mere fraction of what it would cost to lay fiber only to the rest of the U.S. The U.S. alone gives this tiny company a shot at a $35 billion market, but globally, that number expands to a potential $631 billion every year. And using the conservative industry standard known as price-to-sales ratio, and taking into account this company capturing only 10% of the market, we've determined this 1-2 profit punch could deliver a potential 53-fold win, or 5,349%. Would that be exceptional? No doubt. But not when you compare it to similar historical scenarios. Let's face it. Halo 5's 1-2 profit punch is set to deliver a massive home run, but if you want a piece of it, you must take action before February 7th. Here's how. Go ahead and give my research advisory service, Technology Profits Confidential, a risk-free try today. The moment you do, I'll send you my brand new report titled, Halo 5's 1-2 Profit Punch, a double play strategy for capturing a 5,349% windfall. Most importantly, you'll get the name of the Halo 5 company and the pre-IPO play, its stock symbol, and detailed instructions on how to buy it for what I believe is a small fraction of its real value. I'll also give you detailed share price instructions to ensure that you don't overpay. Plus, I'll also walk you through an insider look at what I expect to see from the impending Halo 5 IPO. And that's only the beginning of what you're going to get. You see, every day I devote myself to uncovering up-and-coming technology trends on the verge of changing lives and making early investors incredibly wealthy. I'm talking about in-demand, well-capitalized, impeccably timed breakthroughs like machine vision. This exploding technology allows us to profit handsomely off manufacturing returning to the United States. The company I'm watching here is a time-tested innovator already selling machine vision technology to the same multinationals now looking to repatriate their workforce to the U.S. Apple is their largest customer, bringing in increasing revenues every single year. Procter & Gamble, Unilever, Johnson & Johnson, Kia, and dozens more companies are also loyal customers. They've grown revenues every year for a full decade, and their new product line is poised to create a major upgrade bump in share price. Drone Inspectors Human eyes can't be everywhere at all times, so technology is reinventing the way we monitor infrastructure like bridges, railways, pipelines, and roadways. One small tech firm has developed specialized drones that can perform safety inspections and assess damage from distances of 400 feet. This company is a microcap, but that's destined to change, and fast. They inked multi-million dollar partnerships with Lockheed Martin, NASA, DARPA, and they've recently become the Pentagon's number one supplier for small drones. Wireless power. Apple and Samsung are about to launch new, hugely anticipated phones with wireless charging. So who's supplying the wireless receiver chips inside them? I predict one company will be inside both. In fact, Samsung's already confirmed this. And while Apple has not yet, they already use this company's wireless receivers in the iWatch. Therefore, I expect them to do a carryover implementation on iPhone 8. In Q4 2016, this company pulled in $19 million on wireless charging alone. But with two upcoming phone launches expected to be bigger than ever, I suspect their revenues could quadruple and for their share price to move accordingly. But these are still just the tip of the iceberg. Right now there are more than 20 positions in the Technology Profits Confidential portfolio and watch list, and I want to share them all with you. Right now, my peak gainers are up 104, 117, 197, 712%, and many are still climbing. As a member of Technology Profits Confidential, you'll have everything you need to get in on breakout winners like these long before most investors ever catch on. When I uncover a breakthrough technology and my tech trend test analysis confirms that, one, the market is hungry, two, the company is awash in capital, and three, the timing is impeccable, I'll issue you an immediate buy now alert via email. I'll always include target prices so you never overpay, as well as let you know just how high I foresee the stock moving in the near and long term. So going forward, you can count on many, 
many more opportunities delivered right to your inbox. On average, I send three to four updates each month. It's all part of the rigorous research and alert system you'll be able to take advantage of every single day, 24 seven. Here's everything you'll get as part of that. 12 monthly editions of Technology Profits Confidential. Here's where I go deep into the hottest technology trends and breakthroughs that I believe can make you exceedingly wealthy. Instant profit alerts. When an investment opportunity has reached its peak, I'll email you instantly so you can maximize your profits and prepare to move on to the next breakout tech target. Weekly portfolio updates. These critical updates serve two very important purposes. First, they explore the economy, markets, and any new groundbreaking tech trends I'm researching. Second, they track our model portfolio's current investment recommendations, so you always know exactly what's happening with each recommendation. Monthly conference calls with the Technology Profits Confidential team. Each month, we get on the phone with our members and candidly walk through our portfolio and introduce new opportunities before their news and answer your questions. 24-7 access to the Technology Profits Confidential members-only website. You'll be granted unlimited, around-the-clock privileges to join fellow members at an exclusive website. Every monthly edition, profit alert, and research report is archived there. Plus, you can examine the performance of all our current targets. The Technology Profits Confidential Premium Concierge Service. I've assigned a special phone number for members to easily reach our VIP concierge team. Each weekday during regular business hours, they are standing by to address all your membership needs. You can see that here at Technology Profits Confidential, we don't skimp on the research, the communication, or the member perks. So you may be wondering, how much does a service like this cost? One that regularly delivers market-crushing winners in the most exciting sector of the stock market. Well, that's the best part, as I'll explain in a brief moment. But first, let me show you what else I'd like to send you today as a thank you for simply viewing my presentation. Free gift number one, getting rich with the prediction multiplier. How to score bigger profits from every prediction in less time, $29 value. How would you like to make 3x, 5x, even 10x more from every recommendation I give you in less time without any additional money? It's completely possible when you use the prediction multiplier formula. I was introduced to this simple, effective method of massively scaling up returns by a former Wall Street insider who became a self-made millionaire by age 33. Today I'm sharing it with you. This comprehensive guide shows you exactly how to do it. Free gift number two, four incredible marijuana stocks for a six-figure payday, $29 value. Make no mistake, technology is the driving force behind the burgeoning marijuana business. And investing now in weed tech is not unlike holding out your hand and letting free money fall right into it. Marijuana is now legal in 29 states and counting. This special report reveals four undiscovered companies poised to explode within the next 24 months. Free gift number three, hot trends for 2018. 10 ways to turn the events of the next six months into one predictable payday after another, $29 value. The inevitable expansion of legal gambling, terrorists engaging the U.S. in full-on cyber warfare, a $2.5 trillion tax holiday, the fat vaccine, and more incredible predictions you can capitalize on to begin making real money for yourself now. As you can see, the potential to make a fortune as a Technology Profits Confidential member is unmatched. Day after day, new trends, new breakthroughs, and new technologies are changing the world and creating billion-dollar waves of wealth. The question is, will you be in a position to collect your share? You will if you join me today. So how much does all this cost? Again, that's the best part. As I've shown you, the technology sector is legendary for minting new millionaires. Of course, not every new technology is a winner, but when you employ a rigorous analytical process like I do, and you can get in with impeccable timing, you're setting yourself up to profit off the kind of revolutionary technology that has created some of the biggest gains in history. 2,566% on Fitbit, 6,690% on Earthlink, 7,763% on Yahoo, 36,989% on Comcast, 70,636% on AOL, 71,338% on Buddy Media. I could go on. But just remember, these are the kinds of opportunities you'll be hearing about every single week in Technology Profits Confidential. Now, my research service has a very reasonable list price of $99 a year. But here's what I'm going to do for you. If you're one of the first 700 people to respond today, I'm going to slash that price drastically. Here's why. I know you're still paying through the nose for your crappy internet service. You might be paying 10 times what I predict you will be paying once HaloFi kicks your internet company to the curb. So I want to make this service as affordable as possible for you, something you can purchase to solidify your family's wealth and security without even batting an eye. That's why I'm temporarily lowering the membership price for a full year to just $49. 
That's right, a 50% discount today. The moment you agree to give us a try, you'll get immediate access to Halo 5's 1-2 Profit Punch, a double play strategy for capturing a 5,349% windfall, the special report that reveals every last detail of the opportunity I've laid out for you today. You'll also have access to every single recommendation I've made and will be making in Technology Profits Confidential, including a handful of picks that are on the verge of major breakouts. I'm also including three free gifts worth $89 today. Getting Rich with the Prediction Multiplier, How to Score Bigger Profits from Every Prediction in Less Time, Four Incredible Marijuana Stocks for a Six-Figure Payday, and Hot Trends for 2018, 10 Ways to Turn the Events of the Next Six Months into One Predictable Payday After Another. And you could have it all completely risk-free today. In fact, just so you can be sure, here's my Technology Profits Confidential 100% Money Back Guarantee. If at any time during your first year as a member, you're not completely delighted with the information, analysis, gains, or anything else about Technology Profits Confidential, simply call your VIP concierge team and we'll promptly refund every penny of your subscription price. No questions asked. A full 365 days to decide whether you like the service or not. I think you'll agree. That's as fair as it gets. Go ahead and join us now. Just click on the button below. And, at a minimum, go through my research on the Halo 5 1-2 Profit Punch before the week is out. Even if you cancel your subscription, all the information I give you, including the free reports and all of my official Buy Now recommendations, are yours to keep. That's right, you keep everything. But you must act now. February 7th is only weeks away. As we get closer, your first play in the 1-2 Profit Punch could go absolutely vertical. And post-IPO, this Halo 5 stock will explode to fill in a potential $631 billion market. So please, don't miss out. The opportunity is right in front of you. I urge you to seize it today. Simply click the button below. You'll have plenty of time to review everything before you join. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to working with you.